Hi, my name is Jason Paltritz, Executive Vice President of Corporate Services for OTC Markets Group. I'm pleased to be joined here at the Market Center by Richard Carlton, CEO of the Canadian Securities Exchange. Richard, welcome. Good morning, Jason. The Canadian Securities Exchange was launched in 2003 as a modern and efficient alternative for companies to looking to access the Canadian public market. What is the CSC today, and how is it different from other Canadian exchanges? Canadian Securities Exchange is the fastest growing exchange in Canada. 2014, we added 35% to our issuers list, and the uh, growth this year uh, continues at the same pace. We are proving to be a popular choice for companies looking to access public capital in Canada, primarily because of our, our model. We emphasize disclosure uh, over regulatory oversight from the exchange. We think that the public markets are actually best suited to determine and price business risk for companies. And uh, as a result, we have a very stringent uh, set of requirements for companies to provide continuous disclosure as well as monthly reports that update what the company has been up to over the previous four to five weeks. It shouldn't be looked at as a regulatory burden by the companies. It's actually an opportunity for them to communicate to the market as a whole, not just to their shareholders, as to what's going on at the company, what milestones they've met, what challenges they're looking to overcome. That combined with uh, our very cost-effective uh, uh, model means that uh, we can genuinely lower the cost of capital for entrepreneurs looking to tap into the Canadian public capital markets. What types of companies are best suited to list on the CSE and in what sectors are you seeing the most growth today? The sweet spot for companies listing on the CSE is uh, early stage growth capital companies. Average market cap is about 10 to 12 million Canadian and it's generally speaking their first public raise uh, when they come on to uh, our exchange. The funds are being used to commercialize the idea to expand the sales and uh, marketing arm of the company. Really, these are companies that are moving into their revenue phase for the first time. As far as the sectors, we've seen a tremendous investment over the last year and a bit in the technology sphere. People assume that as a Canadian stock exchange, we have a heavy bias towards mining and oil and gas exploration stocks. At this point, our market cap is only 17% in those uh, sectors. The technology space, we're now up to 36% market cap weighting. So we've seen a tremendous growth in that, uh, in that space over the last uh, year to 18 months. 22 CSE listed companies are cross-listed on either our OTCQX or OTCQB market. What are the benefits of Canadian companies being cross-listed here in the United States? Great point, Jason. We'd actually like to see more uh, companies, uh, and I'm sure, as, as would you, I'm sure. Um, and in fact, uh, we have uh, about half of our 305 companies uh, have a quotation uh, on the OTC markets uh, group over and above the ones that are on the QB and the QX. There are a number of benefits for Canadian uh, reporting issuers to have a quotation uh, on the regulated markets uh, here at the OTC markets group. First and, and, and primary is that it gives the uh, companies an audience in the U.S. retail market Canadian companies, in fact, have enhanced access to the U.S. markets when they're looking to raise additional capital. Canadian company, which is a reporting issuer, um, does not, in fact, have to become a full SEC reporting issuer in order to raise capital under Reg A+, Reg S, Reg 144. There's also a real liquidity advantage for secondary market trading, so that when you bring all of the investors and traders who are present here on the OTC Markets Group to the table, it in fact grows the liquidity pie to a greater extent than if you just simply had uh, trading existing in Canada. What we find is that the market makers who are active here supporting the markets for the issuers that uh, are quoted here, they're also participants in our market. And what that means is tighter spreads, deeper books on both sides of the border, and it clearly provides a higher level of liquidity for investors in Canada and in the United States for these names. Interesting. So the other way, what would be the benefits of a U.S. company cross-listing in Canada and in particular on the CSE? We have a number of U.S. domiciled businesses who have decided to access the public capital markets through Canada. And the reasons are, again, we can do it in Canada at a relatively low cost as compared to becoming a full reporting issuer and raising public capital in the United States. So. We don't have uh, uh, the Sarbanes-Oxley compliance issues. 
We don't have thousands of uh, uh, class action uh, civil litigation lawyers that are active in the security space. And we don't have uh, as many uh, regulatory requirements that uh, absorb management's uh, time and cost you a lot of money in terms of legal fees, accounting fees, and consulting fees. So it's a very cost-effective way for companies at the smaller end of the spectrum to access public capital, but do so in an environment that is highly regulated. There's continuous disclosure requirements that are monitored by third party. Secondary market trading is uh, monitored by an independent third party. And the disclosure requirements uh, that are enforced by the Securities Acts in Canada are, would be very familiar to investors in the United States, very similar. You've got quarterly filing, annual audited statements, and you have a continuous disclosure responsibility for material news. What it adds up to is you have essentially a market that's regulated in ways that U.S. investors would recognize, but without the cost burden that comes with being a full reporting issuer in the United States. So where should companies go to learn more? And do you have anything you'd like to add as we wrap up? We have a uh, marvelous website, uh, www.thecse.com. And uh, we have a very active uh, sales group that uh, would be delighted to speak to companies uh, interested in listing uh, on the Canadian Securities Exchange. And frankly, issuers that uh, are currently listed on the Canadian Exter Securities Exchange that we can uh, talk about the advantages of uh, working with our friends at the OTC Markets Group. Uh, it's been a wonderful partnership that uh, we've had over the last uh, couple of years or so, and uh, it's been real benefit to uh, our issuers to, uh, to work with uh, you and your team as well. Great. Richard, thank you for joining us in the Market Center. All right. Thank you. My pleasure.